Hello, hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time I'm going to be talking about the inferior view of the base of your skull. Now, this, in my opinion, was one of my biggest fears when I was learning in medical school when I looked at the inferior view of the skull or the inferior view of the base of the skull, I was petrified. And the, the reason was due to the fact that there are so many little structures that you have to remember and memorize and what passes through them. And the intention of this tutorial is to clarify all these structures and make it easier for the next for your next exam. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, focusing on different structures that we're going to be seeing on the inferior view of the base of the skull, which is when you just turn the skull and look at the inferior view of the skull, the entire cranium, and removing, of course, we're removing here the mandible. And now we're going to look at the different structures, which include the bones, the bony structures or bony landmarks associated to those bones, and most importantly, and the trickiest part, the foramina and the fissures. So all of these little holes and trying to explain you what is going to go through these fissures and through these foramina. Now let's start with the very first topic here, the bones uh, that we find on the inferior view of your skull. And the first one that I'm going to highlight here found on the anterior view and I mean found on the interior portion of the skull or the base of the skull. This is the maxilla and the maxilla from this aspect we see the inferior aspect of this uh, bone which is essentially your upper jaw which houses the upper teeth and it plays an important role in mastication or chewing when you chew things and also during communication. The next bone in line is going to be this one here, occupying most of the area of the inferior view of the base of the skull. This is known as the occipital bone, and this is an unpaired bone covering the back of your head. It is convex externally, as you can clearly see here on this image, but if we were to go inside or look at the superior view of the base of the skull, looking at the inside of the base, we could see that this bone is then concave. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.